Hey folks, it's Ardwolf. Welcome back. This is episode 4 of our playthrough series of Crusader Kings 2 as King Carl, uh, known to history as Charlemagne, although not quite Charlemagne yet. Uh, here's our kingdom of West Francia. Let's uh, start the clock and review uh, where we're at with vassals here. Now, I, I just looked at... Uh, let's see here. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, and this is an important event. The heathen Saxons living north of the realms of the Franks have for a long time held their own against all foreign conquerors while defiantly staying true to their old religion and raiding Christian lands with no fear of God. No longer shall it be so. The time is coming to bring them both the sword and the cross. Mercy is something they will find in the next life should they accept baptism before they perish. So, we get, uh, we can leave them alone. Uh, we lose a ton of prestige and a ton of piety. Um, or... We get a strong claim on the Grand Chiefdom of Saxony. Uh, we're going to take this. So... So we have to hope for here... Is... That we don't have a general insurrection while this is going on. this. Move some guys back from the border here. Just a little bit. Make sure we're running the clock. Speed 2. So let's hope we can make this a speedy conquest. Looks like everybody's moving. Too long. I'd love to know how that mechanic exactly works because vassal levels sure don't have to be raised very long. It causes problems. All right, uh, click the tie that Bourbon Dois. Right, let's. Uh going to be uh, pretty careful about this. Now, if you haven't uh, seen any of my uh, talk about it, um, I'm kind of running two playthroughs right now, one of uh, Crusader Kings 2 and one of Europe Universalis 4, and I may continue one, I may continue both. I have not decided. It kind of depends on uh, your input, the viewer. All right, hold on a minute. So if you uh, want to see one or the other, or both, please let me know in the comments. Liking the video is also very useful for this, by the way. Otherwise, I'm forced to just go on views and views, you know, while I can get this metric from YouTube. Um, it's not necessarily useful to know that uh, somebody watched for, you know, a minute or whatever it was. So let's pick these last stragglers up here. Yeah. 
daughter was born, Ruatilda. Okay, that's great. It seems my amorous adventures have resulted in a child. Little Ruatilda is my spitting image. Okay. Um, we are not willing to deal with that. Uh, we do have... It's Carloman. It's named after my brother, the asswipe. this. I guess we'll find out in a minute. Looks like I'm going to win that battle, actually. Alright, so let's put this here. These guys are fleeing for Braunschweig. It's right here. We'll chase them. It's one army. Why is it that if I mouse over this one, I get the, uh, the little panel here, but if I mouse over this one, I don't? I don't know that that makes any sense. sure why we're going all the way around here, but okay. Let's speed the clock up to three. We're going for Munster. So a, a habit I have with Paradox games, because of the, just the way they work with this, you know, it's real time, but you pause it, is pausing a lot. And it's kind of irritating, to be completely honest. Alright, what, what just got defeated? Yeah, let's take care of these guys. Oops, wait a minute, wait a minute. I guess we're not waiting. Okay, we won that. Aldebrand was captured in battle and is now my prisoner. That's fine. Chief Bruno. Hi, Chief Bruno. Hi, Chief Bruno. Of Brunswick. Okay. That's fine. Um, we're at 68% war score on this already. Bandits have raided the siege camps outside groaning and killing many of the besieging soldiers. Okay. Um. What I'm looking, trying to do here is, is just select one of them. Okay, click on the dude, I guess. 
These guys are going to Ostfriesland, so we'll send one group after them. And this should flip pretty quick. Now, Frederick has managed to uh, effect his escape. Oh, that's pretty shitty. Alright, these guys are going to Braunschweig. Can't really cut them off where they're at. We're gonna flip this back. There's no, like, ticking war score deal like there is in EU4. At least there's no indicator. I, I, I believe that me mechanism is there. Um... That keeps happening because I I keep pausing. Okay, these guys are going to Anstabruck. Okay, 7 September. Ranschwag on 11 September. That's looking good. Yeah, and you can go ahead and pile more guys in there if you want. I think uh, I think we've got that handled. Vebrecht was captured in battle. Who is this guy? He's... Uh... I think just some guy. Right, where's this guy going? On Sabrook? Where's this guy going? He's going to Munster. So we're going to need 100% war score to affect the conquest of this area. He's going to Braunschweig. You just keep walking around back and forth and back and forth. We're almost 80% now. Large numbers of the famished defenders of Göttingen have succumbed to starvation. Uh, you live, uh, I've discovered a pot where Baron, Baron Guela seeks to King Carl the Noble dead. Oh. That's no... Oh, why? Why does what this happen? Unfaithful Lecher. Minus 200. That's fantastic. Um... I don't wish to deal with that now. Because if, uh... If... Let's see here. Roland and my friend. I'm going to introduce my friend. So who's the friend? Okay. Let them sit there. If they're just going to park there, then I don't care. Now, this area is going to be hard to hang on to. Um, that I can tell you. Now, because it's it's going to be, if we look at the religious map, it's going to be pagan. So we're going to have to deal with that. Uh, like Revan Munster. Where are these coming? I am pretty content to just sit here, actually. I'm taking some attrition, though, I can tell you that. A Jewish exile fleeing persecution elsewhere in Europe has showed up at your court. His time spent abroad has gifted him with many connections, and by all accounts, he is an able diplomat. He would make a fine chancellor. Okay. Victory there. Kicks us to 
we should win both of these battles handily. Although my numerical advantage in the second case was not as big as I would have liked it to be. Uh, my wife is pregnant. That's good. Um... What can we do? Demand a character in that plot. Yeah, in that plot. Alright, so I, I think that's sufficient for now. How's this coming? Uh, this is looking fine. So she said yes. So we want to get uh, Onsnabrook besieged. Is this guy going to Onsnabrook? Oh, be my guest. So how can he just walk the occupied province? That's irritating. After giving my advice on a delicate matter, the courier asked me to accept a small gift of gold. I accepted reluctantly as thanks for my help. Um, we'll accept it reluctantly. Get, give, get the charitable trait. I can, I can live with that. Duke Knabi of Alemania has usurped the title County of Nuremberg from King Tassilio III of Bavaria. I don't know if I care about that at the moment. Actually, no, I'm, I'm wrong. I don't care about that at the moment. At some point that will be... Um, well, could potentially be significant, but it isn't right now. So right now we're just waiting to reduce uh, the rest of uh, Saxony here. Munichus, let everyone know about my plot to kill King so-and-so of Lombardy. Great. Nice job. That's happened every single freaking time. Let's look at my plots. It's at 95. Uh, now we've picked up everybody we're going to pick up. So that's probably amounting to not any 3%. Hugh has created a title, the Duchy, which is fine. We need to pick up a few more here. I guess I could probably split this. Uh, technically, yeah. Let's split it. We're not going to split this one, though. And these three... Outbert. So multiple sons is an issue. Um, because we're in Galvalcan succession right now. So I'm not really worried about it right this minute. I hope, I hope not to be. This, uh, King Carl is 36. So he's hopefully got a while yet. Uh, I have gotten Charlemagne killed in, in previous games, however. And it's not... Uh, Kingdom of Middle... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, okay, yes, I'm aware of that. The county of Troyes is would would not be a big deal. All right, so let's see if we can offer peace and enforce demands. We cannot. Okay, who are these guys? So we need a couple more pips on the uh, on the war score before we can uh, declare a mission accomplished here. And we're now at 100%. So let's. It's to our advantage. So we gains the we gains we gain the grand chiefdom of Saxony. Okay, so now what we we got stuff to do. Um, let's look at this Yachia, who's pretty friggin' good. Let's make him that guy. Um, Okay, so we're, we want to take uh, the Chancellor, uh, we will 
improve diplomatic relations with Unhalt. Because otherwise these guys are just gonna rebel. Disband the military. Oh wait, who are these guys? Well shit. deal with that. That was a mistake. And let's uh, let's look at the religious map here. We need our uh, chancellor right now. We need him to proselytize here. Let's look at what our relationship with Pope is. I think it's not amazing. Gift look like 95. Um, I, I'm not. I don't feel obliged to do that this time. All right. So let's uh, let's call this episode here. Um, we have completed the conquest of Saxony. Um, we have other stuff that we would like to, uh, to make happen, but uh, it's going to wait until next episode. I want to thank you for watching. Uh, we, we look out to view our magnificent kingdom. It looks, it looks very big. Um, the, the, the challenge as Charlemagne is, is to, and Charlemagne's heirs is to not to take a huge nation, but to hold it together. Um, that will be, will be the key. So we'll see if we can do that. Uh, join me for next episode. Um, thanks for watching. Please uh, like the video if you're enjoying it. And remember, that will have an impact on uh, whether I make more of these or not. Um, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. And if you're interested in, uh, in uh, EO4, go ahead and tune into that series. It's been posted recently as well. So thanks again, and I'll see you next time.